You better fix your military band right now. I'm sorry, Chief. Shut up! All right, Chief. Dang, you hear her start crying. She's like, <laughs> and then he was like, shut the fuck up. I don't want to hear it. I like him. I do. I think he's awesome. Okay, so y'all really enjoyed the Space Force basic training video. So now we're going to do Navy. Um, there wasn't a whole lot out there, uh, and this was the best one recommended to me. So it's week one of Navy basic. So let's see how this goes. Fill up your band legs three inches up. When you are done, you will be on the tow line, standing straight, looking straight, awaiting further instruction. You have 15 seconds. So I already know what's going to happen right now. <laughs> Since he started the fucking countdown, he's going to finish counting and he's going to be like, <laughs> and like try and freak him out, which, hey, guess what? It works because everyone's going in here, you know, civilian mentality mindset, trying to become a sailor, you know. Go, go, hurry up, get all your feet now, All right, you know, right there, there you go. The fuckery begins, the yelling starts. Welcome to basic training. Fucking, it's attention to detail. It's weird about the civilian sector, you know, that's the problem. We hate being told what to do. You know, we hate people thinking that they own us, but that's what it is. And that's what the key to success is too. Just do what you're fucking told and everything's gonna be okay. Your garbage away. Aye, aye, chief. That's how you sound off. Talk loud. Aye, aye, chief. Hi, hi, Chief. <laughs> Are you trying to kiss me? <laughs> Maybe you couldn't understand me. Fix yourself now. When I say go, you will make your initial phone call home. You will call someone that can confirm your existence. Somebody that knows that you came here to Navy boot camp. Let's go. I'm Have your phone borrowed this person. Let's go. Let's go. I remember taking that phone call in basic and literally it was... Hi, it's Nico. I'm alive. And then I just remember fucking drill sergeant. I'm not going to say his name, but my, my drill sergeant fucking took my phone, dropped it in a bucket. Didn't see it again until uh, the end of my first phase. I thought it was going to be uh... the funniest part. Oh, man. These are deaf. The dude on the left. Not fucking happy. Oh, <laughs> shit. Whoa. This, we got a Navy cat right here. Look at his smile. Look at his smile. Hold on, it's, it's coming up, it's coming up. I thought it was gonna be uh, a little bit more relaxed. But... Look at how happy he is to be there. He's like, a little bit more relaxed. <laughs> the dude on the left is killing me. He's like, should've joined the army. I fucked up. Definitely isn't. A lot more intense than I did think it was gonna be. Who said to stand like that? a lot like more that. intense than I thought it was gonna be. <laughs> you must love getting special attention. Huh? There, Chief. Get out of attention! Now! Damn. Oh, this dude's got attitude. I'm pretty sure- Oh, hey, don't look. He's probably gonna start twerking in his face, so nobody look. Turn the fu- I'm just kidding. That- that fucking kid? Yeah. Oh. Bro, I don't like this guy's face. This guy is like yeah, the perfect Navy kid. Just to like- what, 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 argue what? the point. Just take it. Yeah. <laughs> he said, just take it. Okay, we're going to rewind it one more time. One more time for you guys. I not even arguing the point. Just take it. Yeah. Navy A, your recruiting Let's methods are working. Up. You're getting the people that you want. <laughs> oh, man, that's going to be a good one. That's going to be a good one. I can't wait to edit that. There's not a lot of we got quickness ours, here. Guys. There's not a lot of running. I'd be like, yo, hurry the fuck up. You have to carry. You take all of your personal items off, like all of your clothing, your shoes, everything you arrived in. You put it in a box, including your cell phone, and ship it home. And then oh, I did not have to ship my cell phone home. That's an I like that a lot. That's probably way better. I knew that I would have to carry my own luggage. Like there was no bellman service here, but I didn't expect all of my things to be that heavy. Like when I was filling it up. If you've ever seen any uh, movie about the military, you should know by now everything's heavy. Like, okay, great. 
right. This is so convenient. Everything fits in this little green bag. Wonderful. And then I had to put it on. And it wasn't so wonderful. Anymore. Okay, then fix it now. You know what's so interesting right now to think about is like I remember seeing stuff like this and being like, man, how do you even fit anything in that bag? And then doing this and living out of that bag, two different worlds, two different worlds, especially if you go to any like field training or anything like that. And you're like, you go into the woods and they're like, we're going to live here for the next three weeks. And you're like, what? And you're like, they're like, yeah, you're going to legit live here for the next three weeks. So my first field experience was super interesting, but that's another time for another story. But yeah. It's wilderness shit. Uh, I've been up since three in the morning since last night, and I don't know how I am awake right now at this moment. And I've been on my feet, and my feet are dying. So uh, this is their reception. That's what it is for the army. I, reception killed me. So when you first arrive to basic, and and once again, I know this is Navy, so I'm doing the army version of it, basically trying to compare, even though they're totally different. Um, reception was rough because you go there. And you're awake for, I think it was like 48 hours straight. And, you know, not being mentally prepared for any of it is so overwhelming. Like, I remember us just consistently going, doing this shit, getting our gear. Because this isn't basic training yet. This is reception. So you're just basically like filling out paperwork, getting your uniforms and stuff ready. And then they're going to go to basic later on. It hasn't even started yet. <laughs> and they're, they're feeling it. And I remember during reception, I was like falling asleep. I was like, uh, like sitting and I remember one dude, uh, he fucking fell over in reception because we were, I don't know what the fuck we were waiting to do. Fill out paperwork and shit. He, he, he fell over. He like dozed off, fell over and cracked his head on the side of a beam. And uh, I don't think he went home, but he definitely, he went to medical. So yeah, fun story. I should stop talking about the army stuff. We're just going to watch this. Maybe a little comparisons here and there, but we'll do the army basic one and I'll do fucking, I'll talk about shit then. So that's Make it. Fun of us. I'm exhausted. My arms feel like they're going to fall off. And it's not fun yet. I didn't even know. I didn't, I didn't even I, sleep at mid. Yeah, I knew like fun yet. That's interesting. Hey, if you want a disco, join the Navy. Everyone goes there for fun. I nearly oh, fell asleep standing. So I am naturally standing at attention right now. I'm not even trying to, but ingrained. <laughs> ingrained in the dome. This dude. I like this instructor. This dude's fucking awesome. Kal Kala. Cola. It's it's definitely getting a lot tougher for recruits. Pretty sure I said you will sound off. Yes, chief. Huh? Dude, I'm surprised he's not whipping out that fucking knife in, bro. That fucking. Mm! <laughs> yes, chief. Did you see that fucking up and down look he gave me? He's like, nice ass. Did I say walk back on the tow line? I didn't. Attention you know to detail. Y'all y'all see them in the back with their fucking phone calls. They're like <laughs> They're like, what am I supposed to do? <laughs> Respond! Say something! Yes, cheap. No cheap. Maybe cheap. Harder daddy. Dude, imagine if he said that. He's like, oh yeah. <laughs> what is it? Yes, chief. Because responding is not an option. From what other people would say and like how they look at that posture, bro. They're really fucking sucking right now, dude. They're just like, I would say the Navy is super cool or I'm having a great time. It's not as fun as I thought, though. <laughs> Jesus Christ. He said they they kind of they've got a bit softer because of um, like the era that we're in. But no, I think it's still kind of the same. Softer. There is a reason for everything that we do here. It's a we thing. We instill that. That's why I like this dude is if you guys don't know, I know obviously I keep saying when I was in, I'm still in the military. Uh, I'm not active anymore. I'm a reservist now, but things have changed so much. You're not allowed to fucking get in people's asses. You can't just smoke the dog shit, which is basically make them work out in front of you. Like all the pushups and shit you guys see in the movies. I'm sure you can't make them do all this stuff for long periods of time. All that is gone. You can't because it was assumed as like hazing and stuff. So, this dude's doing great because he does it, but he doesn't overdo it. And he stays within the, the means of like, you know, still training and having them learn and stuff. So this dude's cool. Pressure. So what is it doing next to you? Huh? Let me guess. You want, ah, no, no. Ooh. 
Now you want to fix it. trying to drop it low Maybe on had you just done the right thing the first time, you wouldn't be in this situation. Big fucking thing that I learned. Do it right the fucking first time. I'm going to leave it at that, okay? Guys, please, if I can give some advice already from this fucking video. Do things right the first time. It will fuck you in the end if you have to keep doing it. Because then you're just wasting your own time, energy. when You could be accomplishing other tasks. Remember that for all of you who are about to join the military. Or are in new anything. Because, again, when, when you do get to the fleet, we want to make sure that you, you fight and you don't fold. It's nothing like boot camp. It's nothing like Navy boot camp. You are joining the United States Navy. I, I expected no. it to be hard. No. I'm not a star! No, Chief. I would love to know what their MOS is. And for all of you who don't know what that is, it stands for Military Occupational Specialty. Mm. I know for some branches it's different. You know, they call it different things. But I'm curious to see. Uh, I wish they would, like, label it, like, what they're planning to do. I'm not a chief! No, 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 no. No, I tell them all the time, this is more yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Years from now, I'm going to retire, and you're going to take over my spot. And I let them know that I want to make sure I can tell my wife and kid that we're safe at night because there's tough people in the Navy. Two, super bunk. Ooh, them hoes clean. Look at them bunks. Super bunk. Whoa. Oh, do they have storage under their bunk? That's what's up. Better find the bunk. <sighs> yeah, I just want to get boot camp finished. <laughs> I like challenges. Oh my God, he's going to quit. Like... Sit up straight. Eyes on me. I'm Petty Officer Sparrow. I will be your lead RDC. Petty Officer 10 will be your second RDC. Petty Officer Gonzalez class. will be your third oh, RDC. This is a co -ed class. Together. Right. This is new to me. Um, Because I was infantry, you, you don't do like co ed anything. All the, it, it's all boys for basic. Uh, I know for like other MOSs, they do the co ed thing, but they would have never put us in a bay together. They would only, they, oh, fuck, we never even saw females in basic, if I'm being honest. It, it, like the only females I think I saw were the lunch ladies. That's it. We have eight weeks to transform you and the United States sailors. It's professional you strippers. You are no longer a civilian. Whatever you were before is now over. You are about to begin a journey that's going to make you a part of the greatest naval force the world has ever known. There are no individuals in the military. We are many, but we operate as one unit. For this Fair. team to be successful, you have to work together. If you fail, the team fails. See, so they're like doing like instruction, introducing them and having their own little speech. Oh, man, I got funny army stories. I want to tell you when I was doing this shit. But we're going to keep it to Navy at this point. But uh, that's weird how they're making them all sit down. I would have made them all stand up. And they'd be like, you're going to stand the fuck up and listen. You don't get the rest. Your butt's going to be sore, okay? Trust me, you don't want to sit down right now. Get on your feet. Get up. Oh, there he goes. Get up. My name's Ben Ferry. I'm a recruit division commander at Recruit Training Command. All divisions she start off basically the same. They're, they're very she scared of what they're supposed to expect. Bought it is. Turn your head. It's easy. Say your number. 51. 52. 52. 53. No. Counting off. One of the hardest things to do in the military. You just saw right there. They're like, you, you're number one, you're number two. Everyone, count. In sequence, they're going to be like, you just saw him fuck up counting off from front to rear. Fucking, they're going to be like, ready, count off from front to rear, go. And the first dude's like, the first three people are like, one. And it's like, no, you dumb fuck. One, two, three, go. You're here to get better, not to stand freaking lazy. You understand? Yes, Petty Officer. And don't stand like that. I shouldn't be repeating myself. We already trying. Some people really have a negative effect to that, and they don't like being talked to like that. And then some of them understand the process and understand that that's hey, us hey, being hey, on them 100 percent all the time is what's going to make them a better sailor so in the end. I mean, he's right. There's something to take into consideration for any of you joining, you know, any branch, going to basic, doing whatever the fuck is like. The end goal of your instructors is to get you ready for the military. When you get to your unit, get to whatever the fuck, okay? There's a purpose behind almost everything, okay? Yeah, some of it's just to fucking mess with you, right? But that's a real-life stressor when you're in the military, you know? Chaos. Think of, like, getting your first firefight. You're not going to know what the fuck to do. You're going to look to your leadership and be like, help me. 
And that's after you've been trained. It, it, you're going to be like, what do I do? Now, without that, what is it? You, you panic. You start running around, get down. You don't focus on anything. You don't listen to anybody. You shut out the world. So it, it helps you get to, it helps better yourself, okay? It helps better yourself. So know that there's a reason why they're doing all this stuff. You know, I don't, I, everything they do, I don't take it personal. Because I realize Yeah, they don't take it personal. Yes, they are. It's a lot of tough love. Um, and it's like, I know that they want us to succeed again. I know that dude, they want... Dude, that dude looks fucking scared. Look at his face. He's like... <laughs> ...and us to do well. You know, they've all been through this themselves. Um, they have gone through a lot of training themselves to be RDCs. So trying to just remember that... That's uh, something that definitely got me through basic. Um, when I had a little bit of a rough spot, I was like, damn, I don't know if I want to do this anymore. And then I kind of just sat back and thought for a second. I was like, you know what? So many people have done this before me. H millions of people have done this before me. I can do this. A lot of people stronger than me, a lot of people weaker than me have done this. Dude, one foot after the other. It's literally that easy. And it doesn't last forever. You're not going to die. You're going to be just fine. Just fucking push. You fail, who fails? The whole team. Your initial PFA is tomorrow. PFA. You need to assuming, they're talking, assuming they're talking about the uh, physical fitness assessment. And that if you fail, you will get set back. So I'm pretty sure they're just saying that to scare them. I know for the army, at least they said this shit, but they're going to give you a chance to fucking retest. And then if you fail, you don't pass basic or you recycle and you have to redo the entire phase. It kind of just depends. So tomorrow is going to be a reality check for the recruits. It's going to be their baseline uh, PFA where they're going to be required to run a mile and a half, do a number amount of sit-ups and push-ups. Some won't make it, so someone's going to go home. Ugh, I wanted to pass. Yo, I like If they send people home, fucking. <laughs> All right, Navy. Hey, and, and y'all are going to, some of you guys are going to think that, like, that's me. Give them a chance. No, nah, fuck that. You should have, you know, wanted to be physically fit. And the military is getting soft in general, so we kind of need people who are ready to get after it prior to. Pass out and just die. <laughs> like, give me a gallon of water. Let me drink it. So we were all really stressed about um, who was going to pass and who wasn't going to pass. Let's go, Joe. Let's go. Get up there. Come on. Don't think about it. Let's go. Come on. Five more. Five more. Give me five more. I happily that I didn't. I Definitely didn't get any of that at basic. You can do this. Come on. It was like, oh, you're not going to make it. You're not going to make it. Oh, no. Someone's going home. Fuck. <laughs> Yeah, there's a lot of positivity here, though. It's the Navy vibes. I was able to pass it. I'm glad. So, hopefully I can pass the next one with a better score. Yeah, okay. So, they with didn't the send PFA, him home right away. Um, they didn't send him home right away. He fucking let him, they're going to let him redo it at some point in the future. They're not just going to kick him away right away. They just say that shit to scare you. So, don't be freaked out when you go. But you better get better because eventually they will drop you. I knew I was ready. I was ready for it before coming to boot camp, but the day before, I got really, really sick. They're for sure Still, they I felt sick during 100%. the PFA. Anything that you were before you came here, you wait goodbye to that. That's gone. Okay, bye. Because as long as people in this world want to take your life because of where you live, because of where you breathe, you must be ready. He's right, but hearing that in Navy Basic is super interesting because just from the looks of this, I don't think any of these people are going into any combat arm component. So like, are you ready to kill and defend your country? And they're like, yes, you, what is your job? I am going to be a water purification specialist. Mm. <laughs> And if you're not ready, we don't need you. Hey. Okay. F yeah. Yep. Get up. Let's go. We'll make it maybe basic again. Okay.
All right, so now it's starting. You know, we we're talking about reception and processing, 30th AG and all that shit. Now it's going to start. It hasn't started yet. Now it is. So here you go. I wake up every morning and I'm like, I'm really in Navy boot camp. Good morning. Uh, 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 quit stuttering. He said, <laughs> <laughs> Dude, he's a, he's a, I'm not, I'm not. you look at it. I didn't see a petty officer. Once he makes his rack. Damn, again, that's crazy. He's just kind of like, fuck you. I'd take that as like some serious disrespect. He's just kind of like, fuck you. I'm going through my bag. But yeah, Roger should have fucking checked it. My bad. Look at it for him. I it's called teamwork. Help. Figure it out. I have to help that's been the most challenging part is just getting along with everyone and trying to work together and putting all There will be some aside. serious fights in basic. That we have one goal serious to fights. So. Some people have adjusted to that better than others. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Up, down, up, up, down, up. Four recruits from Division 229 are caught arguing in their compartment after hours and are reported to the RDC. She! So that IT session was to show them after taps are not allowed to argue with each other. Oh, we got a cat fight right here because I'm assuming it's these three females right here and I'm assuming it's someone else. Man, the girls are the worst in basic because they don't let shit go. They don't let it go. And I know this only because, you know, obviously I have female friends in the army and other military branches and they'll talk about their stories and shit. Even, you know, once they're out of basic, they're y'all are the fucking worst. You just keep staying mad at motherfuckers, dude. I can't imagine how it is in basic when you still got that like sassy, you know, civilian mentality like, nah, fuck you. They're probably just like arguing and they don't fucking throw hands. Dudes will throw hands in the bees and then after that, carry on. Each other and they have to just handle things internally as a, as a division. Okay, there's the four of them. There's definitely them. Then yell it. 12, 12, do it. Ooh, oh. Oh, look at her. She's pissed. She's like, dude, hell no. Disrespect. I've been like, fucking look at me when I'm talking to you. That's crazy. I wouldn't let, you know what? That would have been easy for me. I would have just been like, soup, 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 soup. Y'all can't see my hand. Soup, 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 soup. Paperwork. Paperwork. I'm be like, I want your fucking ass gone. Do it. That's not yelling. Yell 12. No one feels sorry for you. Was she crying? No one. I swear I saw you here. Like oh, she's crying. Oh, like don't do. give a single like every fuck. situation to the RDCs and also they can't argue with each You want to go like and have an attitude. Hey, that that's a personal problem. Men, and they need to handle it amongst one another. Oh, they're sweating. Sweating. Comment down below if you know what I'm saying. If you've ever gotten smoked until the walls sweat, smoked until the walls sweat, yes, it's a thing and it fucking sucks. My door telling me, see me recruit so and so, get this. Handle it amongst yourselves, like grown women. You understand? When you come to boot camp, it's not just about me as an individual, it's about us as a team. They're not sure who's gonna step up and take leadership positions, who's gonna help support those leaders. So it's just a forming stage at the very beginning of boot camp where they learn how to come together and work together. 1400, head on spot, same time entry, forward hold on spot. Just I clean the head, I clean the bathrooms. I actually enjoy doing it. I actually like to keep it clean. And what I don't enjoy is people not listening to, <laughs> to what I tell. So Okay, here's definitely a big problem in the military. So obviously once you get to a certain phase, like they talked about, people are assigned leadership roles. You know, squad leaders team leaders and all that other bullshit right you don't have any fucking power so calm down it's just a structure thing it is what it is okay and once again you run into the same problem of like oh i don't you're not the boss me don't tell me what to do and that's why being a team comes into part hey please get in the shower get in the shower naked Swim calls. Failure to pass the swim will result in remedial swim lessons and possibly get set back in training. Definitely a thing. 
The army swim tests, I'll give you, I'll tell you right now, they're not difficult. At least not in basic. You do a few swimming fucking, some swimming training. You get in the water, you get gross, dirty, you swim with your uniform and shit. But I'm sure, I'm hoping that the Navy's is a little bit more advanced because a little bit more water based than the Army. Okay. Okay, Navy, I see you. <laughs> All right. Really passed the swim. So this is a baseline swim test to just make sure that they have the basic skills required to uh, survive if they were to find themselves it's so in wet. the ocean. Ooh, I know, it, it, I'm sure it was shitty, Ooh. but compared to the rest of basic, okay, that, being yeah, in the I water and not overheating is probably a lot of fun. And I guarantee you it's not freezing so cold. The water's probably dumbass hot. Like, okay. Y'all probably can't hear me talking. Um, the water's probably stupid hot, but I'm sure this was a lot of fun. Great. The worst part is over. And then we go to the other side and we have to jump off again. And oh, see, like, that's cool. Why didn't they tell us this before we joined? I would have reconsidered that. But I passed. Um, but he did inform me that I needed to swim lessons. It doesn't look as high as it is. And it's not the fact that um, you like, I'm afraid of heights. Damn, what is this, Navy? Y'all wearing them long shorts. You need them short shorts. It's the feeling. Yeah, it's the feeling your stomach gets when you drop. You have to hold on to the inflatable boat. Everybody has to get in okay. at one, and the water was really cold. But it was quick, it was fast, and uh, I really enjoyed jumping off the tower. Yeah, that was not fun. I, mean, I did not enjoy that. Other people said that they loved it. I, mean, I hope I don't go overboard. So it made me a lot more sure and oh, a lot more fucking confident miserable. that this was the best decision that I, I could have made from Yesterday was our first day wearing the actual uniform. So when we got them and I see that my name is on my right and it says U.S. Oh, these shits are sewn on. Damn, that's what's up. Okay. Kind of jealous about this. Fucking me. I didn't have, we had the Velcros and it would suck because it's like, oh, I, I think that's part of like, you know, good discipline too is like setting it up nice, straight, perfectly for the day. But um, I would like be like losing my shit and I'd be like, oh, fuck, I gotta find it. Just like super stressed out but to have it actually sewn on that's cool it sucks so that their tops are buttoned up that's fucking terrible navy on the left i'm just like wow like i get to wear this uniform this is so cool it's my number one inspiration to get through this is seeing how my parents are going to react to it how they're going to feel how they're going to see what i change damn okay really inspirational for him um here's one thing for all of you though going in uh and if this dude's watching you know don't take it personal don't ever do this shit to make your family happy don't ever fucking do that it is it in the long run will be the worst fucking mistake of your life do it for yourself because when you start doing it for your friends and family and taking their shit into consideration you're wrong because those are the people who you know at one point in their life were like oh you know i was gonna join the military but i didn't because my parents didn't want me to or my parents stopped me. Nah, fuck that. This is your life. Decide what you want to go do. Do it. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they say that um, basic training doesn't get better, you get better. I think that's definitely true. That's when true. we first picked the division up, we can barely get them to stand still and just left or right face. But now coming to week four training, They've been marching. Every he said, let the light fade. Hey, that's true as shit. This is so cool. And then they hit basic and reception. They're like, oh, I don't know if this is for me, dog. Every time Candace's come on, I'm always in the back screaming. You, know, you can hear my voice all the way in the front. Damn, look at them. They've been in this for a minute. They got hair and everything. I'm so happy for them. Navy is the best. The US Navy is the best. The division has come along. Ooh, that's wrong. Maybe not the best. Y'all cool and all. Not the best, though. Strong. Army strong. Way physically, but they still have a long way to go. Here at Recruit Training Command, we have physical fitness training six days a week. So about three days a week, we do some in-house physical fitness activities, which are a lot of push-ups, jumping jacks, uh, running planks, different exercises that we can do right here in a small space to get the recruits in better shape. And then uh, four days a week. Damn, that sucked. We need, uh, like, I don't think y'all understand how hot it gets in that fucking room when you're doing, like, platoon PT in, like, a small-ass room. 
it's miserable, especially when the instructors are all up in your shit. We go over to Freedom Hall where they get to run. Run in circles. Oh, dude, that's the best. So it's all a building block to get them up to the standard that the Navy wants them to be at prior. I bet you I can show you how they run. La, 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 la. All facts, no cap. Yeah, I've seen my waistline go down. My perspective, I do think we are good friends, Chief. In a professional standpoint, yes, Chief. Professionally. Explain to me what professionalism is when you're going out of your way to talk to each other. You're talking to each other in inappropriate places. You're talking to each Dang. other when you should not. Two recruits from Division 229 are caught talking to each other during a training exercise. As punishment, they face intensive training. So intensive training basically means they're just going to get the dog shit smoked out of them. They're going to have to work out for a long period of time together in front of everybody in the bay or, you know, aside from everybody because it's going to take up a lot of time. Don't fucking talk when you're not supposed to. Not me. So you tell me about professionalism. Every single day. You better fix your military just, baron right now. I'm sorry, Chief. Chief. Shut up! All right, Chief. Dang, you hear her start crying. She's like, I'm a... And then he was like... Shut the fuck up! I don't want to hear it! I like him. I do. I think he's awesome. But that's the dude you, you need to be scared of. I believe, though, he's very fair. That's the thing. The scariest instructors are the ones that are the most fair. And it's so interesting. Like, they're, like they, they, they're not two-faced. They're very honest. As long as you do the right thing, you're going to be just fine. But when you fuck up, they're going to get in your ass. But they never, they'll never fuck with you for no reason. So that's really awesome. Here's the point. Conversations. Shouldn't be had. Good friends. Not in my boot camp. Ooh, not today. Not today. Everything that you guys are doing is against good order and discipline. I'm going to ensure. Hey, yo, he's like, Tim. He's like, now I'm going to fuck you up. It's really slow. Get on the ship. <laughs> Marlon Spike is a huge team evolution. Get up here. Go, go, go. So if a division feels Move your they, ass. they operate. Shake your ass. In life after Marlon Spike was night and day. Go, we got this. Okay. Okay. So that was really hard, but I felt like it made us, it forced us to work together. <laughs> Dude, he is having such a good time. <laughs> oh, y'all. This will be the best work day of boot camp. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. During the confidence chamber, recruits are exposed to CS gas as an exercise to show them how effective their issued gas masks are. Okay, so they didn't really go over the firefighting shit. Saw they had their fucking their tanks, their masks, fucking some of the thermals and all that shit too. But uh, I still don't know. If y'all got like videos of the Navy doing like some intense fucking fire and all that shit training, let me know. Send it to me. I want to check it out. I want everybody to repeat after me. Embrace the suck. Embrace the, Embrace suck. the suck, baby. Accept it. Damn, maybe Let's I should go. put in my Step video of me stepping out of the gas chamber. Let's go. Step if we do out. the Army one, I'll put it Step in. It out. Boom. Let's go. Right. This All shit's right. easy. This shit's dumbass easy. Three. <laughs> Dude, I remember they were like, Social Security number, go. And I was like, blah, 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 blah. And I put my mask on. But everyone says, that whatever you're supposed to say, your street address, your your four, first, middle, last name, all that shit, you say it hella quick because you just want your mask to get on. But then sometimes you'll say it, but then you have to wait for the instructor to tell you to put your mask back on. So they'll just be looking at you like, and then you're like, can I put my shit back on, please? <laughs> This is easy, though. If you're going to the gas chamber, here's a tip. Just breathe. If you breathe smoothly, it, it honestly, it's not going to hit you. If you take nice little deep breaths through your, through your mouth, I think I, I'm pretty sure I was breathing through my mouth. I was just like. It, it did not. It hurts when you leave. 
If you've done this before, you know exactly what I'm talking about. When you're flushing this, the CS out of your system, it fucking sucks. It tears you up. And if you do what I just told you, it's going to hurt when you leave. But when you're in there, you're not going to suck, dude. I wasn't coughing nothing. I was. I think on a scale of 1 to 10, I wouldn't oh. do it like outside. It burns. Oh, it still burns. Like right under my nose, it burns. But what is this? They look totally fine. Dude, when you come out of that shit, you should be like, oh, oh, oh. Like fucking like shits all over your face. Not actual shit, okay, but like snot. I think we sliced it a little bit more than we needed to. Man, my, I just cried a lot. My eyes were watering. They're still watering. Dude, they look amazing. They look. I really didn't call for it. Like, wow. It wasn't that bad. Give me your technique. That obviously worked better than whatever the fuck I did, or they just didn't make you stay in there that long. Expected to do once I get out to the fleet. Reps and sets. All right, let's see what this shit is. So I know when I came to boot camp nine years ago, we had a three or four day course on firefighting. Okay, more fire and shit. Two days three on or four line day handling. Course. And now the recruits Funny. are getting it every single week once they hit week four until the, the week they graduate. And I think that will help prepare sailors for the fleet. Okay. Maybe you are all more set up. Maybe you guys are more set up. As we give these Dude, goddamn fucking SWAT instructor vibes right here. He's like, listen, I'm going to show you how to fucking kill some shit. Uh, the experience, the, the real life experience of, first of all, handling this weapon in an environment that's close to reality. Okay, stop. I want to know what they do, what their MOS is. If they're not like SEAL dudes, SWICs, fucking outside contractors, I guess fucking... M I, I guess M.A. is like, like whatever, okay? It's not quiet, it's not passive. Uh, it, it's going to take enthusiasm to survive in an environment like this. So that's pretty much what we do. Get a good aggressive stand. Point at the target like you need. Grab by the weapon spirit Hell no, as an instructor getting in front of the line like that, dude, I can tell that this motherfucker is fucking and out there on the line and you got new motherfuckers who've not shot before hell no the biggest thing and the thing that makes you the most proud as an rdc is when you see them work together as a team understand each other's weaknesses and really really just come together that's very true you can't do this shit alone you can't go through basic alone got to utilize your team and it's built that way it's built for built for failure unless you you know use one another and so I can see how that's like super rewarding to instructors once uh, everyone kind of gets their shit together. Okay. No, 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 no. I'm good. I'm good. This is fucking. He's trying to have a look. Twerk, 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 twerk. I love how they're like trying to get into it, but it's just like it's not there. It's not there. I'm sorry. You're you're tired now. Oh, it's, it's gonna a, be nothing. It's a full night evolution. Nice. Okay. All right. Zero four, zero five, zero six. Chief, you two two nine, man. Right in my section, Okay. So Battle Stations is the I like this. final test before you can graduate. Hey, this is hot. I like this a lot. I like this a lot. For like, you know, for the army, it's just like your last evolutions and all that shit. It's just you just sucking, fucking living in the woods for your field training exercise for like the last week. But inside of that, there's a lot of training and other shit. But this is cool just because it's fucking, it's on a ship. It but our shit's like fucking like a whole week straight, long. so fuck off. It's fire for the ship, goddamn. Obviously, very uh, important for on a boat. Uh, if you fuck up and there's a fire on a ship, she you better fix that shit. Rely on your shipmates next to you to make sure that you, you all got through it efficiently. Okay. It made me kind of think about like my job and my role um, as far as the Navy goes. It really made me appreciate how important it is for every right. single member on that. Yeah, I've heard of this. Obviously never experienced it, but uh, this looks really great. Oof, okay. 
Okay, hold up. I gotta. I just saw the stretcher. So the ENT in me is coming out right now. I gotta see. They know exactly what to do and where to go and how to get there. All right, that ain't a real fucking person. Okay, there's no way. I would love to see their medical skills and training, but uh, this is cool. I like this uh, exercise. You'll hear people say boot camp is a filter, not a pump. We're supposed to evaluate these people and uh, decide whether they're sailors or not. But I will refuse to lower the standard to help someone achieve the goal that, in my opinion, is one of the greatest things you can do, and that's become a sailor. So all the recruits that do make it through my divisions, I'll be proud of and feel like I'm really helping out the fleet. Then we got well, smile, they're buddies money. now. I got the chills, I got the goosebumps, and um... She, bro, look at his shit, boy fucking clean, baby. Them uniforms are like, I would, I would hate to have to wear that shit though. Cause I know you gotta tie it all nice, you gotta fucking set that shit up and fucking all that, and that just looks miserable. They don't, this, doesn't the Navy have like hella uniforms too, hella class uniforms? That's fucking terrible. They got this, they got the actual dress uniforms, they got the fucking like sandies too, like how the Marine Corps has it, don't they? And then y'all got regular like class A's and shit. I don't know. I don't know, but I'm asking. Let me know. I didn't tear up. I can kind of tear up a little bit. I'm not even going to lie. Um, it's, it's, it's emotional, you know. Uh, tear up. You've, long eight you've cried like fucking four times already, bro. Three weeks. All the things that we've been through. It was kind of emotional. It was nice finally being able to shake my RDC's hands and shake my fellow. Yeah, I, what uniform is this? This is another uniform, so that's interesting. Oh, shipmate's hand and trade in that recruit ball cap and finally get that ball cap that's been sitting in my rack since the day we got here. So it just, it feels like a sense of accomplishment. Um, oh my God, we got a hat after all this. Yes. Just that whole ceremony and, and switching over. It feels great. I thought coming into the Navy as someone who had already finished college. Dude. It just, it feels like a sense of accomplishment. Um, just that whole ceremony and, and switching over. It feels great. I thought. Dude, like seven people have done that in front of the camera. Every time the camera comes around, they're just like. <sighs> What the fuck, dude? That's my bar. Parents be parents be hyped as fuck. They're like, oh my god, they're so fit. They look so good. Job. It's a tough job. You have to be tough. That's what boot camp does. We create tough sailors. So they're all We create tough sailors. Ultimately, our Navy. Them cheeks tough. Is what the nation needs. the challenge to come up here and do this job and to make civilians into sailors it is the hardest job i've ever had but it's the most rewarding job i've ever had it's it's a feeling that you can't really explain to someone until they come up here put the rope on and, and graduate a division at the end of the day whether my time ends at four years or my time ends at 30 years i want to say that my time that i served in the navy i gave everything i could have given and that was it. It's definitely some boot shit. Obviously riding a high horse right now. Uh, but good for you. I finished Navy boot camp. <laughs> I really finished Navy boot camp. Uh, wow. I never thought I would have said that. Yes, I am a United States sailor. It's kind of surreal. And I'm just, I'm so proud of myself. I'm proud of the journey that uh, that I had to take to get here. All right, that's all. It wasn't too bad. Um, do have a little bit more respect for Navy Basic. A uh, little bit more training in there than I originally thought. Saw a little bit more discipline than I thought. I don't think it's like the shit still. Don't get it twisted. Uh, once again, love the Navy. You know, it's just all just shits and giggles and for fun. And let me know down below in the comments what you guys want me to react to next. Once again, it doesn't have to be military. It can be whatever the fuck you want it to be. But uh, yeah, thanks for stopping by.